Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So for a bit of a different video today, we are back in my bathroom and I thought it could be fun to do a skincare routine using only sample or trial size products. I'm sure if you're like me and you purchase a lot of products, you often get samples sent to you um, from various brands and, uh, and retailers as well. And I normally hold on to those and save those for traveling because they're great to use when you're traveling. You can just bring like a little pouch of a cleanser or something like that. But because I'm not traveling right now, and honestly, I don't know when I'm going to be wanting to get on an airplane, um, I figured I should go ahead and use them up. And I thought it would be fun to kind of do that with you and give you like little mini first impressions reviews on the products that I am trying out today. When I do have an option, um, I do try to select samples of products that are products that I'm actually interested in or feel that they would work well for my skin type. Um, I do have oily acne prone skin. I do have some breakouts at the moment. I know that this video was a bit of a trend a little while ago, but I'm finally just now getting around to it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I should also say right now, because <laughs> you don't know this right now, it is the morning time. I have not done any skincare yet. So I need to go ahead and wash my face and do my morning skincare. And also we'll meet back up tonight and I'll show you my nighttime skincare routine using sample products as well. If you'd like to see my normal, like regular skincare routine, like what I'm using right now, I will link that video up above. I did that pretty recently. I also did a giant declutter of my skincare collection. I can link that video for you too. Um, and I did a video talking about what high-end um, skincare products I think are worth the price and which ones I don't think are worth the price. I will link that too. But with that being said, um, if you are interested in trying out, especially a more luxury skincare product, trying to get a hold of a sample is always a good idea to see if it actually works well with your skin, fits in with your routine, see if you like the product. Um, so I always recommend that whenever possible. Okay, so I think for my cleanser today, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is the Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. It is an AHA and BHA cleanser, which means that it is a chemical exfoliant. I have been trying out actually the um, Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. Feline sent this to me and I've honestly been really enjoying this. So I have been wanting to try out more Tata Harper skincare products and this is a great option. I feel like this would be really great for my skin needs right now, especially with having breakouts. So let's go ahead and test this out. These little sample packets are always kind of messy, but I don't know if you can see here, it's like a green kind of jelly cleanser. So let's go ahead and apply this to my face. And it's sudsing up nicely. And it smells really nice. It smells just like a little fruity, a little floral. It's got a beautiful scent. Okay, so my skin does feel nice and clean. It doesn't feel overly stripped or dry or tight, which is good. Um, so even though it is a chemical exfoliating cleanser, I did find that it just worked really well with my skin. Um, so far, so good. I, I really like the scent of it. It was really nice. It smelled really nice while I was using it. So let's go ahead and use a toner. Apparently my neighbor's smoke alarms are going off. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, for toner today, I'm going to be using this one here from January Labs. This is their daily brightening toner. It's not a full, I mean, it's like more of a trial size and a sample size, but still it's not the full size of the product. So it's going to count. So I'm going to apply this using one of my reusable cotton rounds and we'll just wipe this across my face. That's not much of a scent. I do feel a little bit of tightness in my skin after using the toner, but nothing too major. Um, I, it's not that surprising given that it is a toner and a toner does kind of tighten your skin. It's, it's what it does, but um, I do like it. It doesn't burn. It just feels nice. My skin feels nice. So, so far, so good. I realized that out of all the samples and trial size products that I have, I somehow don't have an eye cream. So we're gonna have to reach in here 
well, you can't see it here, but I'm going to have to reach into my skincare cabinet and grab out an eye cream. I'm going to be using my Indie Lee eye serum because it is the morning time. And I have seen this as a sample before, but um, yeah, I have the full size. Now I'll have a momentary interlude of face rolling because yeah, I do this every morning. And it honestly just feels so nice. My face roller is normally quite cool um, just from sitting outside because it normally gets cool overnight. That feels like really nice on my face, especially with what's going on right now. I've been carrying so much tension in my jaw and this feels amazing. So if you're suffering from like a lot of jaw tension right now, which I feel like everyone's carrying some <laughs> stress and tension somewhere, um, but especially if you have it like in your jaw, this is 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 for making that feel better. And just make sure you're always going in upward strokes. We always want to be going upward with our skin. Although I say that and I don't always do it, but especially when I'm doing some sort of face rolling, I always make sure to use upward strokes. And then I normally go in with some sort of like serum or moisturizer. I think the sample of a product that will like kind of fit best into that is actually this one here from Alpine Beauty. This is their Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my skin. I've been really wanting to try out more Alpine Beauty products, especially since they're carried at Sephora, they're carried at Creative too. But just because they are a more widely accessible brand, let me know if you are interested in me trying out some of their products or more of their products. It's just like a white moisturizer, as you can see here. Let's see, feels pretty, I need some more because that was certainly not up, but it feels pretty lightweight. Like I like how this feels. Yeah, this feels, this feels nice. It's not too heavy, not too thick. It was the perfect uh, choice for a daytime moisturizer. I do have oily skin, and even though I have oily skin, I do still want to keep it nice and moisturized because I feel like that really does help my skin not get too crazy with producing oil because if I don't moisturize at all, it can, you know, my skin's like, well, I need to add more oil to the situation, whereas at least if I keep it moisturized, it, it, I think it helps a bit. And then the final product I'm going to use is a little bit of a face oil. I don't always use this, but because I am having so many breakouts on my face, my face is getting a little dry in places, and I also still want to keep treating those breakouts. So I am going to use this product here from Live Botanicals. Is it Live or Live Botanicals? I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comment section down below whether it's Live or Live. Though I don't know how you're going to describe that in the comment section. I could say long eye or short eye for if you know how to pronounce this brand. But this is their Awake and Clearing Oil. This is another brand that I really wanted to try out in the clean beauty space. I've heard really good things about it. It's being carried at Integrity Botanicals, but I really haven't tried out much. I've had this sample. And I've actually used a little bit of it before, but I'm just going to put a little bit of this oil, particularly on my forehead, because um, that's where a lot of my breakouts are. And it's also a little dry. And then also on my chin and like right around my mouth, because that's honestly where my breakouts are right now, like here, here, and here. Oh, and a little bit on my nose. I don't know. My face is just breaking out right now. It's it's doing its thing. It's stressed too. Oh, and I should say the um, Alpine Beauty, what is it called? The Alpine Beauty Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer really did sink into my skin nicely. It feels very lightweight, not at all um, heavy or overly like moisturizing. So for me and my skin type, this would work really well. If you're looking for like a really heavy duty moisturizer, I'm not sure that that would be quite the right product for you. Especially as someone with oily skin, this is like the perfect level of moisture for a daytime moisturizer for me. Yeah, this has got an interesting scent to it. I don't know if you can see the shade of it here. It's like a kind of dark yellowy green color. The scent is like very herbal, almost a little spicy. So let's just put this on my forehead. Well, and all the other areas I need it to. I really like 
like that oil, it absorbed in nicely. Though one of my tips is if you have oily skin and you're looking to use some sort of oil serum during the day, you definitely want to be very sparing with the amount that you're using. At night, I will kind of load up a little bit more onto my skin because it's at night, you know, <laughs> it's just, I'm, it's gonna be me and my skin at night and I don't really worry about makeup or anything. But during the day when I am going to be putting on makeup, I really like to just put on enough. So it just adds a little bit of oil to my skin, but it's still at a level where my skin can absorb it and I don't feel like an oil slick. So that is my one tip. And it definitely really depends a lot on the oil itself. Some are more lightweight and can kind of absorb in nicely. And I like to use those during the day, but when I have something a little bit heavier, I like to use that at night. But this, I feel like it's something I could use during the day because it's really just kind of sinking in very nicely. So. I'm gonna go about my day and we will reconvene tonight and try out some more sample products. Hi everyone, I am back. It is the very end of my day and it is late and I'm tired and ready to go to bed. I probably should have started this a while ago, um, but here I am right now, throwing my hair up in a messy ponytail I'm gonna be sleeping in. Also, before I put my hair up in the ponytail, I put some dry shampoo into my hair. If you've not tried putting in dry shampoo prior to going to bed, that is game changing, especially if you have really oily hair. I highly recommend giving that a shot. But I do have my makeup on, which honestly, I think it looks pretty good. It's been on for quite a long time at this point. And with my oily skin, I feel like when I look in the mirror, my makeup looks as good this late. Um, it's about 10 p.m. I'm like, you know what? I did, that, the makeup did a, did a good job of holding up. So I am going to start off by removing my makeup. I don't have like a, like a truly um, sample size. Well, I kind of do. I have a pseudo sample size of a um, like makeup remover, and what I'm going to be using is the Pi Lightwork Rose Hip Cleansing Oil. It does emulsify in water, so I don't need to use a damp washcloth. I've used it. I actually have this in a detox box, and I've used it uh, traveling, and you know, while I was testing out the box as well. So I will be using this today. I already know I like it. Um, it's not my favorite oil cleanser, but it does work quite well. So I'm gonna use this to first remove my makeup and then we'll do a second cleanse. most of the oil cleanser off my face. I still have a little bit left behind. This is why it's not like my favorite oil cleanser is because it doesn't quite emulsify in water as well as like the Botanical Bee um, cleansing oil from One Love Organics or the Leilani Pample Mousse. I find this to be just a bit more effective. I do like this. Obviously it is breaking down my makeup and I am able to wash it off but those are just a little bit easier to rinse off. Now for a cleanser. I was using the Tata Hair for clarifying cleanser this morning. Um, for tonight, I'm actually going to go in with this sample right here, which is the Indie Lee Purifying Face Wash. I've been trying out the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser and absolutely loving it. It's been a um, new favorite of mine. And I really wanted to try out more Indie Lee products and I realized I had this on hand, so it's a perfect time for me to test out another cleanser from them. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my second cleanse. I was trying to give, figure out what the scent was. I'm not really sure. It's just got like a nice kind of fruity scent. It is like a clear gel, um, which makes sense. That's what a lot of face cleansers look like. So let's go ahead and get this applied on. My face is still wet. Yeah, so this is sudsing up nicely, which I like to see. And I'll go ahead and massage this into my face and then rinse it off. then kind of as a toning step, I'm going to be using the sample of the live or live, we still don't know, <laughs> botanical fresh and complexion clarifying elixir. Uh, this is supposed to be like a toner that's good, especially if you have oily um, or acne prone skin, which I have oily and acne prone skin. I'm not sure if the Mr. List is going to work so well because it's a sample we're going to find out. If not, I'll just squirt some into my hand and then like press it into my uh, face. Let's see. Like how I like wince, I'm like, ugh. Right before I just wear something in my face. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do that too. Okay, 
I will give them credit. That actually misted really nicely. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I think I got some in my mouth. I'm trying to talk to you and miss things that my face is not a good combination either. Um, that felt nice, didn't have much of a scent. Um, it was pretty scent neutral. It's not tingling or burning or anything like that. It just feels nice, refreshing on my face. So hopefully my face likes that. Um, Cause as you can see, I definitely have some breakouts going on right now. And then next up, I typically go in with some sort of moisturizer. So I will be trying out this um, Trilogy Vital Moisturizing Cream. I've actually never tried out any skincare products from Trilogy. I really wanted to, I've heard good things, but I haven't yet. I got the sample um, from Credo, I believe. So I will be applying this next. I actually really wanted to go in with the um, Alpine um, Beauty, what was it, their plant. I just used it this morning, the Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer, because I really like that, but figured for the sake of the video, I should test out something different. So we'll go in with this next. Okay, so this is still pretty lightweight and absorbing in nicely, which we know I have oily skin. I repeat it all the time. And so having something that actually absorbs it nicely is quite helpful. So that is a very lightweight moisturizer. It has a very mild scent. I don't think I like the texture of it quite as much as the um, Alpine Beauty one, but it still is quite nice. And then for the final step, I'm going to be using this sample right here. This is the Akar, Akar? I don't know. <laughs> Some of these <laughs> brands need to go with like pronunciation guides. Um, I, I'm gonna say Akar Skin Clarify Face Oil. I got this sample in the um, Petty Board, one of the Petty Board boxes, and I'm still trying to test, oh, I think I got this in the April Petty Board box. I'm still trying to test it out and figure out what I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Um, this is also supposed to be good for kind of oily acne, um, acne prone skin, which is what I have. So this will be my, well, I still need to apply a night cream or an eye cream, which we'll get to that in a minute, but this is my final sample step. Like the daytime, I try and load up my oil, um, my oil serums a little bit heavier during the night, just because, like I said, I'm not worrying about makeup or anything like that. And my skin, honestly, even with it being oily, like I do have some dryness on my forehead and on my chin, which is where I've been having a lot of breakouts. Typically, in order to combat breakouts, you use products that are kind of drying. So I try and use oil serums um, as a way to counteract that. So I am loading this up, but. I'm just gonna go straight to bed, so it's no problem. And then the final step I'm going to do is apply an eye cream, and I don't have a sample of an eye cream, so I'm gonna, so I'm going to be using my Fillane eye cream. Um, I like to use the Indie Lee in the morning just because it is more of a gel consistency, whereas this one is a cream, and like I said, I like to go a little bit heavier with my skincare at night. Um, that's just my personal preference. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I hope you found it a little bit fun, just a different, uh, just a change of pace. I hope it inspired you to go through your samples because I am willing to bet you have some people sitting around and go through them, play with them, try it out. Especially during this time, it's a great way to just kind of mix things up, try out new products. And also it's a great way to try out new products without having to purchase new products. Though the one caveat with this is that you may find new products that you love and want to purchase, which you know, sometimes that happens, but I hope you found this video helpful if you did and or if you just enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos. And also check me out on Instagram. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl to see more of me, more of my gardening adventures on there. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.